Hey y'all, it's Lois with Lois Keepsakes and Creation. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I just want to pop in here real quick. I don't know how long this video will be, but I wanted to do like a little short flip through of my um, sunflower journal. Um, I'm almost done with it. Um, I have ephemera pieces that I need to put in it. And um, also to fussy cut out the rest of my sun or my butterflies. But so anyway, I wanted to give you a little uh, flip through, and then also to um, yesterday I was inspired by G Kerr, K E R R, and her first name is G I, but uh, G Kerr. She is with Happiness and Crafting. And I have started following her YouTube, and she has amazing ideas. So, I took on a little idea yesterday, but I'm not going to show you yet until I start showing you a little bit about um, how far I've gotten with this journal. So, um, I did put um, some glittery... Us. Um, it's like a washi tape right there. So I put that there and that was really pretty. Um, I added the ribbons to the tags. Um, I also made a closure and I also did the back too as well um, with that glittery washi and then also to I finished off the tag there. So she's getting really really chunky so She'll definitely go into the book press so we can press her down. But I just wanted to show you. Um, I didn't really do much into the journal itself. Um, I may have had a little play like this is the envelope and I stamped on the inside. Um, and then I also put some ribbon on top of it. And that just sits in there like that. There we go. And so forth, so forth. I really haven't done a whole lot to the pages. And the reason why is because I would like the journalist to have as much room for journaling on the paper. So, and yes, this book will be for sale when it, once it is complete. So, I'll let you know that in all good time. But, so anyway, um, just flipping through. Didn't do very much. Oh, I wanted to put this in here. There we go. Um, just flipping through, looking at all of the yumminess of all the tea dye paper. Um, more tags and tucks of other various things. Um... Tuck. Isn't this gorgeous? I just love this. I made this from my tea dye paper last year. So, and all I did was put it on like a plastic mat that goes in front of you on the table. And I just used it to um, cause the imperfections or the um, flowers and stuff. So, I love tea dyeing paper. I really do. Here it goes again. And then, um, on the end of the signatures, I did do this. I added a new pocket. Um, this one has a pocket in the front. And then this one has a journaling, um, a journaling, uh, little book. And I went on ahead and sewed all of it together inside. And just a little, nice little journaling spot. Okay, <laughs> and the story with this right here, I ran out of yellow ink, and as I was refilling my bottle, um, for some reason my hand decided to throw the little bottle out. So, it went everywhere. It got all over my cricket, all over me. I'm still got yellow on me, um, but yeah, it was a horrible craft day. That was just the beginning, but anyway, so that's why you got the yellow 
yellow dots. So, I don't know. Sometimes my hands do that. It does it, like, quite often. I can have something in my hand and then I throw it. So, alright. So, moving on. Um, this one has the same thing. The envelope. And, um, more tea dye paper. Um, just some little corner pockets with some little tags in them. And I sewed around them. And then, just a little tag right there. I think I want to put this right here, too. That's pretty. So, I'm running out of room to put my ephemera. So, I'm thinking what I might do is, um... Uh, get put some of this ephemera in a little bag and then that way so the recipient um, can put her ephemera anywhere she wants or he so but yeah so loving this coffee dye paper here goes another corner I don't think I've got any more things. Oh, here goes something. Here goes a tag over here we can put in here. Um, I got three little tags. So, let's see. We'll just put this one in here. We'll keep these together in a different spot. And... I mean, it's just... I love this journal is because there is lots and lots of room to journal. Lots of room. And you could stick these in here like this. And then, it, of course, another envelope to stick in there. I haven't gone through all of my scraps yet, so I can make temp I mean, inserts for these. So I still got to do that. Um, here on the second journal or the second spine um, I have a acetate booklet and um, it has pockets in it so you can stick things in it um, this side too as well and you open it up and it's a big journaling card and then also too I added some uh, paper in there for you to journal with so, and it just simply folds up like this, and then goes in here like this. So, and this also has a second pocket, too, as well. So, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so now we're on the third signature, and I did the same thing, just little strips of that washi tape. And then, uh, put the trim on the envelope. Um haven't done too much. See, I'm missing some more stuff so I can stick inside the pockets. Um, this one, too, is missing something. So, isn't that pretty? And then this one's missing something. So, but I've got plenty of scrap paper, and this one needs a insert. Um, I got plenty of scrap paper, so... I'm depending on what to put in here because she's already getting so chunky. So that's why I'm thinking is if I put all of the ephemera pieces in, then you have the choice of putting them anywhere you want. Like say <clears throat> this little square. I mean, you might want to glue that to this and write a little date in there, you know? So instead of me sticking it somewhere else, but that's a really good idea and then even for the circles I mean you can um, half put glue on them and then put them on your page and then you've got a little tuck area so that's why I think that this is this book could be more exercised for learning your ephemera and putting it where you want it and um, journaling along with it so but anyway, so yeah, that's the uh, gist of it. Um, I am going to do this the same way and put it on the back. So I still got that to do. So I'll put this out of the way. 
and I've got something else I want to show you guys okay so I've been working for a couple of days and I've been watching G Kerr with happiness and crafting and she has inspired me to do some hidden paper clips that are going to go in this journal so here they are what do you think what do you think I did dresses and then these are little planter pots and I just put flowers in them some of them have little tuck pieces in them to write on uh, <clears throat> this one right here I even did um, show you right there I even did a coat hanger for that one is that not gorgeous and then what's sparkling on her um, chest dress area is Nuvo uh, glitter drops so that's what I did. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love it. I love it. So she teaches you how to make the hanger. She teaches you how to make the dress and everything else like that. She decorates them up. I mean, she has amazing ideas. So I couldn't help myself but just have a place. So for a couple of days, this is what I've been working on. So, and I got this one right here. This is a side pocket. <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat's getting dry. Let me get a drink of uh, coffee. Mm. My iced coffee. Alright, so this one's like a little side paper clip. This one obviously goes on the top. And it just pushes down like that. And then this one is a side one and it goes in just like this. So you get the gist of it. So isn't that just gorgeous? I did the little stick or the Nuvo drops on the butterfly and stuff. So it kind of shined a little bit. So, but yeah, so and then this one right here. Isn't that one gorgeous? I love it you could actually put like the date or something like that so that would be really cute for reference so anyway and each one of these have two tuck areas so you have one right below the inside the pocket where the flower is so you have that one pocket and then you also have one more pocket in the back so Plenty of room for little hide, hiding spots, right? Or little dates or something like that. But then look at this little girl's dress. Isn't it just darling? I'll show you right there. Come on. It says no. Let's put it on the paper. But yeah, she's a... This dress right here goes up at the very top. Let's see if that helps. There we go. Isn't that just darling? Just something little. And I tell you what, once you get to folding these, then um, you got it whipped. You got it figured out. So, but yeah, so I'm super excited. I just love them. Love them. I love how they turned out. Isn't that one cute? Little butterfly sitting on top of the flowers. I did a little bit of stamping, um, and then these little tags are removable. Isn't that cute? So, but yeah, so that's what I've been doing, guys. That's what I've been doing, and I've had a good play at it. Look at that one. That one is just darling, too. Sorry for the shakes. Oh, goodness. So, yeah, that one right there, and these cards come out, too. So, but yeah, so I love it. They turned out beautiful. They really, really did. So, but yeah, so go over there to G Kerr. She, she'll teach you how to fold these dresses, how to fold the flower pots. 
and she also shows you how to do the decorations so but I don't think I could teach it as good as she does she's got it down to a pat so I pause rewind play pause rewind but I got the knack of it and I was so super excited that they came out so beautiful and I am telling you this one right here is my my favorite this one is the one with all of the bling on it and then here's the back of it the back of it's a little messy but it works so I hot glued that on so and I didn't want to cover that back up because then I would have to come up underneath my um, paper clip and then that would have been a mess so I just left it like it was this one right here I did like a little waistband for it and I'll put this one on the paper there you go so and I put some little pearls sticky pearls on the um, top of the dress right there and then I just added a little bit of bling right there as like a little belt and just added some more um, ruffles uh, little lace ruffles and this here too as well and then I just cut these off of a piece and I thought it would look really cute on the dress so but anyways yes so that's what I've been up to so super excited look I'm going to show you guys right where I would want to put this right here I want to put her right here let's okay so yeah that's where I would put that dress isn't that just gorgeous I love it just gorgeous what a wonderful introduction when you open up the book and these are going to look so gorgeous throughout the book. Now, I did do some of them. Um, let's see, which ones were they? They were definitely, it was this one. might have been this one. It might be this one. <clears throat> All right, so we'll move these up out of the way. Um, and where I decided I was going to put these three at... Um, is going to be, where are you? Where are you? Okay. So, stay right there. So, this being the first signature. And by the way, this is a soft spine. Um, these were actually sewed into fabric. And there is no chipboard. So, this is a soft spine. Alright, so for the first one, I thought it would look really pretty is if we took the, the tab that shows first, and then that will go there, and then go to signature two, and then put this one right here. tuck these cards in a little better so they're not standing up so tall and then for the third signature I figured we would have something like this okay now look is that not adorable here I'll open it so you can see it is that not adorable they just stick out of the book just oh so slightly so I mean they're not that bad so but I thought those were really pretty so but yeah that's why I would thought that I would put those those are really pretty so let's see um I don't know I don't know see we just need the the journalists she's going to be the one telling us what to do okay see this is like a little booklet so let's stick this dress right on top of it oh is that not darling come on to focus there we go isn't that pretty and then that'll stay right in there like that oh I love it 
Okay, so let's go to the middle one. Okay, this little guy. And let's see, should we use a flower pot? Let's see, I think we should. I think this one will be okay. All right, gotta bend that um, paper clip a little ways different. Okay, I had to bend it a little bit. Okay, so now let's go to this one, this side. All right, so now we have this one left, and we have another one, a dress, and that one. Okay, so let's see. Let's put the dress on this one. There we go. Is that not darling? Oh, I love it. Love it. I really, really do. Okay, so now we have two of these left. So both of these are side pockets, or side pages, as you might want to say. So let's see. We could always do... We could always do something like this. There we go. So we have a side page like that that we could paper clip. And this little fella became my stamp on. You, you do the ink, stamp on, and then stamp on again. And <clears throat> this became my paper where I was stamping on to stamp on to the, pro the other paper. So I decided to turn it into a little journaling little thing, so, and it fits right in here just perfect. Just like that. Okay, so now we have this one, and this is a side one too as well. So let's put this one, oh, wrong way, okay, wait a minute, okay. So it's got to go this way. There we go. There we go. See, it's getting yummy now. So I'm going to definitely have to put her in the book press for a couple of days. So, but, but yeah, so all I've got left for ephemera is these, y'all. That's all. That's all. I've went through the whole entire paper pack. And made something of the sort for this beautiful book. I just might have to make me another one of these. Oh, oh, oh. Also, too, I was going to make a uh, removable dangle, maybe, I was thinking. Because I want to come into here to where you see the cloth of the soft spine. And I want to come into here and I want to do something and then crawl over to the other side. So that way it would create um, a dangle so I could do a tassel. That's what I want to do. So, and each one of these, that's what I want to do is put some, but, so I want to put something in there. Maybe some uh, sheeting, like sheets, old sheets, old whatever it is material that I can rip up and make it look really good and then I can have it hang over here and then it's going to become like a, cla a cloth tassel and I'll put a little bit a few beads on there and things like that of that sort so yeah so this yeah this book hasn't had any bling added to it so that'll be something that I'll be busy with doing that so when you guys see it next time, it will have all of the um, blings and things like that. So, but yeah, I'm loving this journal. It turned out really pretty. Um, the way that I had designed it, I didn't think it was going to be any good. So, but it turned out wonderful and I'm so super excited. I really am. So... And I picked this kind of ribbon is because the ribbon actually matches the eyelash trim. So, but yeah, that's your little journal. It's going to be beautiful. I know it is. So, 
You can set it on your desk like that if you like to, or you can make it lay down, whatever you want to do. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Um, oh, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, yesterday, this 56-year-old woman went outside and went on a cliff to try and dig something out and lost my footing and I fell five feet. Well, I've got a left knee injury and a right foot injury and I am having a heck of a time getting around walking and everything else like that. So, um, yeah, so I spent a few hours in the ER last night so they say there's no broken bones but there's a lot of swelling so but anyway I'm hobbling along they started out with crutches but that kind of isn't working for me so but I got the knee brace on that's most important but anyway I'm gonna get out of here you guys so I'm going to finish this book up this week because I'm super excited and I can't wait um, to get started on the next book. So, next composition book. It's a composition book is what it is. And I am so super excited and I can't wait to get started on that. So, I'm going to finish up with this. Uh, get all the stuff added to it that I wanted to. Um, some beads and things of sort like that. Um, but, so, yeah, I'm repeating myself. I guess I will talk to you guys later. So, until then, happy crafting, and God bless, and have a great day. Bye-bye.